Hi folks. So if you're going to retire early, one of the best strategies to manage your money is to live like a local. So what's it like to live like a local in Laos? Follow me today and you'll find out. My name is Javier and my channel is Retire, Recharge and Realm. All right, guys. So we are at Tat Luang Market. This is one of the local markets in Vientiane. This is one of my favorites. Um, large variety of food available at a really economical price. Um, they typically open, I believe we were arriving here about 4 p.m. Um, five is probably more like the sweet spot. We got here a little bit early, so some of the stands were still getting set up. If you get there too far after 5.30 or 6, then you've already hit kind of the peak traffic area so it gets to be pretty busy so I would recommend trying it here about five uh, so we were coming in to take some food out to my wife's family farm uh, so enough for a few days there's some steamed pig brain and banana leaf it's better than it sounds and this is a uh, cow gang, so a uh, variety of different curries and stir fry, and prepared food, and everything from tofu to mushroom to um, pork, chicken liver, there's some fried fish, and some get some different curries, a green curry and a red red curry, and some olam, which is uh, pork with with dill, so lots of herbs. It's all really good. This is all really good. Good stuff for the price. On average, this prices range between 15,000 and 30,000 mob kip. So, 75 cents to $1.50. Uh, yeah, you can't go wrong. You can't go wrong with this. So, we typically frequent this market uh, or markets like this uh, at least once a week. The great thing about this is that you're pretty much guaranteed that the food is fresh, freshly prepared, and uh, all natural, all, all organic for the most part. There's some fried fish, there's some sort of egg dish that I was fascinated with for some reason. And just below it you'll see some snails, so these are pretty common. These come in from the uh, I would think they're freshwater snails. This is one of my favorite booths. So, shale um, is what is being served here. So, everything from a shell head, which is a mushroom, uh, chili paste, to shale uh, McLean, which is a tomato, almost kind of like a chipotle salsa, to a shell pa, which is um, minced fish with chili and herbs, so you get really tasty and fresh. And this is typically served along with fresh vegetables and some steamed um, sticky rice, kamiya. So a little bit of kamiya, a little bit of shale, and some fresh vegetables, and that's pretty much all you eat to fill your belly for, for a dollar or less. Pretty reasonable. So just finishing up here, this is the tail end of the market tour. So I just wanted to show you an example of the local food. Um, it's great. You can develop a taste for it, um, which most of it is really, really very tasty. Um, complex, I think the one thing about the uh, cuisine is it, there, there are a lot of complex flavors that may be a little bit different than the Western flavors. Um, some of the bamboo curries and some of the stuff that has the fermented fish paste it takes a little bit of getting used to. But actually, there is so much depth that I think once you have had it and tried it, you can really you can really appreciate it. So as we finish up here, I uh, hope you can uh, like and like the video and subscribe to the channel. Got more videos coming up on some of our upcoming travels throughout Laos, um, where we will get to see different places, try different foods, and hope you can join us. Here's some grilled meat. 
the meal, so it's some grilled pork on a stick and some sausage. Can't go wrong with that. Okay, so again, thank you for watching and we'll see you again.